Hi, Ms. Smith. Thanks for taking the time to meet with me. I know we met briefly at the bedside last night, but I'm Dr. Wilson, the doctor taking care of your mother in the, in the intensive care unit. Hello, doctor. Thanks for meeting with me. Well, thank you for coming. I know this must be all very difficult, having to see your mother um, in a situation like this. Before we start, is there anything I can get you to make you more comfortable? No, I'm good. I think I'm just right about how my mom's doing. Yeah. It must be really tough to see your mom in a situation like this. Uh, I don't know if you've been through this experience before with any other family members. No, nobody. Even my mom never spoke with us about what to do in a situation like this. Okay. Well, that's okay. It's hard to be prepared for a situation like this. Before we talk a little bit more in detail, can you tell me just about your mom in general, what she was like as a person? Yeah, so she's a really sharp lady. She was actually a teacher. Um, and she just really valued her family and spending time with us. Okay. So an, int an intelligent, um, independent woman who really enjoyed being around family. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's so hard to see her like this. It was hard enough to have to put her in the nursing home, and then, at least then, she, though, she'd be happy when we'd be able to come visit her. So why did she need to go to the nursing home in the first place? And tell me a little bit about life there. Was she happy there? Was she unhappy there? Well, I think she was frustrated. Uh, she was having a hard time remembering things. Sometimes she wouldn't even recognize us. Uh, I'd say over the last year, she started getting weaker. We really weren't able to take care of her like she needed, so we opted at that point for the nursing home. Uh, she used to be a teacher, so I think it was hard for her not to be able to be independent like she used to. But she would just, was thrilled when we bring the kids by to come visit. Well, that's all really helpful to hear, and I think all of those things are going to be important as we start to talk about the medical decisions that we need to make. So let me bring you up to speed. I know some of this is old news, but as you realize, she's had a large stroke, and that's why she's in the intensive care unit. And the stroke really was pretty devastating to the point that she's now on a breathing machine to keep her alive. It's all going to get better, though, once she recovers from the stroke? So that's a good question, and that's the tough part here. Uh, the truth is that it may take many months to recover from a stroke this devastating, and I truly don't know if she's going to have significant recovery after this. So this uncertainty begs the question, you know, knowing your mother, knowing your loved one, what do you think is most important for her? What would she value most? Would she value living with her current quality of life? Or do you think she'd want us to focus on medical care that avoided harm and avoided discomfort? I don't know. I just know she really would want to be here with her family. So, understandable. I can tell that the family is really something that she would value. Let me talk a little bit about the specifics that would um, be involved with treating her uh, with intensive medical care. So first we would have to put in a breathing tube um, through a tracheostomy. That's a surgical incision in the neck because she would need to be in a breathing tube for a long period of time. She would need some sort of artificial nutrition like a feeding tube. And all the while, she'd be bed-bound and at risk for a lot of different infections, urinary infections, bed sores that could get infected, even pneumonia. And with all of this, too, um, the, the worst and hardest part about it is that she probably is not going to be able to recognize family or really be able to interact with you in any way. So you're saying she's not going to be able to recover. Then what are the other options? So the, the other option is to focus on our comfort. What that would involve is using a medicine like morphine to control the symptoms of pain and discomfort at the end of life. We would want to remove the breathing tube and we'd use these medicines then to make sure that she passed peacefully and as naturally as possible. So the another option is to let her die? I, I don't know. I'd, I don't want to put her through any torture, but I also don't want to be the one to just let her go. I understand. A lot of families that have faced the situation have similar thoughts. So I actually want to maybe take this opportunity to offer what I think is my recommendation based on what you've told me. It sounds to me like the two most important things to her were her time with her family and her independence and her intelligence. The hard part is I don't think we're going to be able to allow for her to have a meaningful recovery to the point where she was before. So even though we can keep her alive, she wouldn't have the interaction with the family, wouldn't be able to experience the things that she seemed to value so much. So what I think, based on her values, what I would recommend is that we actually go down the comfort route. But maybe there are some things that I haven't considered. Are there other values that 
uh, might be a play here, other things that we haven't talked about your mom that we might that might factor into our decision? No, I I think it's just hard. We don't want to we don't want to let her just just let her go. But if you're telling us she won't be able to interact with us again, then I agree. I don't think she'd want to live like that. I think we have to let her go if that's what's best for her. Yeah. I know these decisions are never easy, and I can tell that you're struggling with it too. Um, but I think that what makes sense is to, is to really just gather family at this point and allow her to pass naturally and comfortably and free of pain. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me.